guys, welcome back. This is Shayla here with Old Pecan Homestead. And um, I am standing in our puppy whelping shed and I just wanted to show you. It's not 100% complete. Um, as far as puppies go, it's pretty much done. But I gotta do a few things inside. Like I still am planning on putting a mini fridge in and um, another shelf, maybe a chair or something. But uh, I'll get this turned around so I can show you. Here we go, so um, Yep, so this is gonna be our whelping box. We got this wall right here, and then we have that light is shining in, so it's kind of hard to show you, but there's these two whelping boxes. And so we built this custom little rack here so they can't jump over. So the wall is 32 inches high, and then this will make it about, uh, let me see, five foot one, I think, total, the overall length. Got the AC in here. And so, let me show you right here real quick. So we have that part that opens, and then also this little tiny door. That one I have to, I actually haven't put all the screws in. It's a little. So, we got this door here that opens, that side opens as well. And that gives me access to climb in and out of here. And um, there's a homemade doggy door out there. And uh, yeah, so we use this shower board. It's called FRP. I just call it shower board. But it's FRP. And then the trim is PVC and it's caulked all the way around. The trim around the doggy door is also PVC. So it'll be really easy to clean. This right here down the down tops of this, it's all PVC to make it really easy to clean up. And then, um, so there's that. Those are our welcoming boxes. And this, if you're concerned at all about the wire hanging across, we have not the, we got the electrical hooked up over here, but the outlet is, not that outlet for some reason is not working so we're gonna have to get that figured out tonight and uh so now i have an extension cord running across so i can get the pups in today but um and then over here i've got this cabinet like the side is not painted yet i'm gonna i'm gonna get that done later but um got all our supplies first aid i uh, th this is part of what's not done I need to get some bins in there to organize, but there's uh, grooming stuff, supplies, training supplies, some blankets and towels back in there, even though it's a little dark. Um, and then we've got a bin of puppy toys. We'll have treats, books. I've got microchips and all my paperwork will be in here. That thing will be full of all my extra papers. Got a bin for dog food, the rug has yet to go in and then somewhere in here we'll add a a cabinet maybe like a little bench storage bench and um a mini fridge to keep uh maybe snacks or medicines like penicillin in here if we need be and then uh, the door right there i haven't trimmed around that and when we were moving it shifted a little so texture cracked but um that was the only issue we had so that's good in, inside is the only issue so I'm pretty happy with that I'll get this trimmed up and get that outlet fixed and put the cover back on and uh, eventually get all this organized and decorated a little more but anyway I'm pretty pleased with it I think it looks I think it looks all right hopefully this will help us out in the future be more organized and then the pups will have a kennel to go into and then I'll take you outside, which I haven't finished this either. And so here's the outside of the shed. As you can see, it's not quite done. I'm still missing a piece of trim there and on that corner. Uh, the, the coat has got my battery. So I can't finish it till this evening. But And I got to paint it. I'm not going to paint the, all the trim like I did in the back. But I am going to paint the inside of the door jam just because that's not treated wood. And then if you come around here, here's our kennel. We're gonna have to get a drain tube for that 
AC. Then think about it leaking all over the concrete. Um, and then the only other thing out here is, of course, the shade tarp, which we've got ordered. And then um, we're going to try out the shade tarp first, the solar tarp, and uh, see how that works out. And uh, they'll, we're going to put a dog box outside and they'll have access to the inside. And so we'll see how that works out. Doesn't seem like a metal roof would be necessary being that they'll have access to the inside but we might end up eventually going to a metal shit or, or metal roof but anyway as you can see these doors i just got these panels wired up here for right now um our welder does not reach out this far dakota's got to borrow the welder from work to get to drive out here and use the generator on there to get that welded up and so he hasn't made the doors but there will be some framed out doors right here in the doorways and then on the top we're going to get more panels right now this is five foot from the panels are five foot so i don't think the dogs can jump over but you never know barley probably could if there's a female in heat and hops probably could because she's very athletic but um that'll be good for now especially with the mama dogs that we have going in today and uh, eventually we'll just completely frame that in so it's 100% secure. But um, we're pretty excited about it. I need to get the AC propped up a little better. There's a piece of trim back here. I know that's missing. And then of course, if you can see the side, I haven't finished painting that either because somebody uncovered my roller and it dried out. That's usually how things go around here. Every time I start a project, something is missing. The one thing that I need is missing. But anyway, uh, morning time, this tree right here provides excellent shade coverage and then in the evening, so only about midday is it sunny out here. So it just, just ended up being perfect. So you can see there's some shade spots there, but again, they have access to AC inside. That's that. I gotta get this cleaned up, get the rest of the trim on, and uh, I'm gonna go grab the puppies and bring them out here. 